guys, it's your Meeks, and I am back with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusader, Battle in Egypt. And you guys, I have decided to sit my ass here and watch these last four episodes in a row. In a row! And I'm so excited, because I feel like this part, this bat, like the Egypt and this, has been going on forever, and we're just getting to the wrap-up of it, and I'm so excited. Dio is on the scene. He, they beat the last one. Paul and Arif's in front of Dio. We're here for it. And if you are enjoying any content on my channel, gameplays, reviews, reactions, whatever else I got going on, go ahead and subscribe. I'm here. You're here. Let's be here together. And I'm just so excited that, you know, they're finally in front of Dio. Unfortunately, Avdal and Iggy are dead. Like dead dead, for real, this time. They even said it on the screen. Dead, just like they did when um they were talking about the fates of the... Um, oh my gosh, what are they called? The stands and stuff like that. This is it. And you know what? I'm going to go grab a beverage. Okay, got my beverage, got my cookies and my milk. <sighs> and I'm just ready to um, actually jump into this thing. Do I talk, did I talk about what happened last time? They did. <laughs> um... <laughs> And pretty much at the end of that fight, where it was only Paul and Arf walking away, he ran directly into Dio. So, on that note, let's go ahead and jump into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders, Battle in Egypt, Episode 45, Dio's World, Part 1. Mm-hmm. Look at them thighs. Fucking thief. Thief and ass thief. Wow. He keeps spitting out blood. Yeah. Uh-oh. Is it a trick? Yeah, um, yeah, no, bro. What is going on? Is it? Yeah, it is the world. We know that. Oh, that, that just means he can manipulate stuff then, right? No, I just think he's manipulating the world. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I can't say it. That's what I'm thinking. No! Mm. This is the first time they've actually died. Mmm. Mmm. Pose, baby. And then he just floated up the fucking steps. Thank <clears throat> you. 
That's important. I felt like he moved stuff. You're by yourself. Mm. <laughs> he just up there chilling, huh? He ain't in that thing. <clears throat> he out here running around doing stuff. Exactly, like, bitch, shut the fuck up and open it. Sir, you about to die. You finna die. He's not in there, I don't think. Ampy, or somebody else's dead body. Move! Yeah. You should have did this at night. So when you got there, it would have been daylight. Hmm. Nope. Are you sure about that? <clears throat> <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, hey, oh, hey. 
<laughs> mm -mm. This thing on my lip is driving me insane. It's like a scabby skin. I hate it. I hate textures. <sighs> this is a bad idea. Oh, shit, I forgot about this. I always forget about this alarm. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Bruh. Mm. They actually showed it. This bruh with his heart knee pads. Sir, get up front and drive the car or get out. <laughs> Sir. Sir, you're not going anywhere. Bruh, you haven't started to drive anything yet at this point. Y'all better move. <laughs> He's like, it's working now. Bruh. <laughs> Look at him. Bruh. 
Wow. Don't Emerald splash him again, sir. Bruh. Mm. You about to get smashed. Mm-hmm. Bruh, playing too much. Yes. Okay. Good luck with that. Oh, the the freaking credits are rolling. I didn't even realize that. I'm like, what the hell is happening? He's in front of you. Wow, they're fast. No, you don't. Oh, y'all, this is a problem. This is a problem. This is a real big problem and a big issue right here, going on right here. Okay. They can't even get near him to attack him at this point because his, not only is his reflexes really strong, but the freaking stand that he has has the ability to like morph reality and, and landscapes and shit. So how are you going to get near him if the moment you get too close, he can either change where you're going, what you're looking at and what you're doing, or he can just attack you directly and lay your ass flat. Bruh, I can't wait to jump into this. So on that note, guys, thanks for going with me. Hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Later. Bye. That makes it. I am back with more JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Starters Crusader Battle in e can't say it, Battle in Egypt. And if you're enjoying this reaction series or anything else I got on my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I know you're here. Let's be here together, guys. If you hear beeping, I'm baking cookies again. Gotta get rid of these cookies. Um, but yeah. So the battle with Dio has officially started. Um, they ran up in there thinking they were going to get him. And when they opened his coffin and realized that he swapped, the, like immediately swapped the person that guided him to the coffin into the coffin without them even noticing or understanding how it happened, they were like, y'all, we got to get the fuck out of Dodge. And that's exactly what happened. They got out of Dodge. They jumped out the window and were dangling off the side of a building. They decided to split up um, Jojo and Kyokin. No, sorry. Grandpa Jojo and Kyokin are in the car um, leading the chase. So Dio is chasing them, and then you have Polinareth and um, Jotaro chasing Dio as he chases Grandpa Jojo and Kyokin. And right now, it's just a mad dash. Kyokin learned that he just can't be messing with this dude. And he should have known that before because they met before. But he decided to have um, Hyrolephant Green do some emerald sparkle crap at him and he blocked it and then he did it again and blocked it again and then he ran up on him like ah and it scared him and he was like oh my god I got too close and Grandpa Jojo was like dog I told you you got too close he's like yeah you're right I got too close um but he said that he figured out how to fight him and I'm like okay dog let's see this because yeah, let's see this
So let's jump into episode 46, Dio's World Part 2. I have a feeling this is like a part 3 and 4. Because <laughs> you're not going to beat him in two parts. Oh, just to figure out a way to reveal it and not fight him. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Spider-Man much? Hmm. You ain't want to do that? To pieces. Because they're dead. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Wait, what? He's like, bitch, what? Why you got hearts on? Bruh. He's blocking the hell out of him. Where is he? Uh huh. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. <gasps> Shit. Ah. Uh... Bruh, he's out here waxing people. Are you kidding me? Like, this is number three? What the hell is the world? Okay. Did he roll it back or move it forward? What does it mean? What does it mean?
Absolutely he is. Wow. Oh, wow. Three. But what does it mean? Does he control, like, is it a time jump forward or something like that? Oh. Oh. But how how does that help? Now now what can you do? Now what can you do? Cuz he can stop time. Uh Move, move, move! Bruh, do not put yourself out there like that shit. Oh no. <clears throat> The cat is gone.
Are you really trying to tell me that Grandpa is going to die here? Like, what are they, how, I don't understand how they could beat this. Are you trying to say his stand is faster than the world? Hmm. Look who got scratch. Bruh, I don't have time for this. Bruh, is there? I feel like there's something. Okay, bruh, like, I know um, Grandpa Jojo is not dead because they didn't do the dead over him, so he's just severely injured right now. However, bruh, Dio stand and Dio is a problem. A real big problem. Like, regular stands can't get close to him because he can stop time for five full seconds. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I think it's going to come down to um, JoJo being the front man. Because he's got Star Platinum, which is kind of almost evenly matched. And then while Dio and World are going against JoJo and Star Platinum, um, Grandpa JoJo and um, Polinar are going to have to come from the side and do something. Like distract him, tag him, something, anything. Bruh. Bruh. This is a problem. This is a big problem. But I'm ready to jump into the next episode. So on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!